Hey, what's up, guys? And welcome back to Amnesia Custom Stories. Today, we're starting another suggestion by Paul Sud. Um, this is Emma's Story by Neil Winkler. This has a very, very, very high rating. Actually, higher than Tenebris, 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 Tenebris Lake. Um, this is one I've heard of, I know of, well, I've, I've heard of. Let me rephrase it. I've heard of, but know absolutely nothing about. So that should be interesting. Let's get into the description, shall we? You are Emma, daughter of esteemed scientist Dr. Robert Coleman. Ever since his discovery of the mythical orb of power, he has vanished, leaving you alone in the family estate. With strange things happening, you wonder what has happened to him. The story begins as you wake up in your room to find an ominous note from your lover. Oh, from your lover? As you play, you will unravel Emma's story. Alright. Let's unravel her story. Let's do this. Here we are, waking up in our room with an ominous note from our lover. Okay, I'll take a tinder box. I'll take a lantern oil. Now give me a lantern and it will be perfect. I said lantern, bitch. Hey, move, move. Get out of the way. No, no lantern. Do I have a lantern already? Let's just see. No. Letter from Neil. Dearest Emma, I don't know how this note will ever find you, but I am in trouble. I am currently in captivity, placed here, I dare to say it, by your father. He has always been a bit off, but this time he most certainly has gone insane. I've never seen him like this before. I believed it to be related to that object, the Orb of Bawa that he found while on his latest trip out of the country. It has somehow changed him. I know he keeps it in a secret room of his in his lab. At all costs, you must locate this orb and destroy it. Only then should your father return to normal. Please be careful, but make haste. Remember, find the lab and destroy that orb. Your lover, Neil. So if we want our lover back, we gotta destroy that orb. But I want the fucking lantern, man. Where the hell is it? Where are you hiding my lantern, bitch? You gave me the oil. I want the damn lantern. Give me the lantern. Don't fuck with me. Oh, behind here? Oh, shit. Lantern. Yeah, there's not going to be a lantern anywhere close by. That's for sure. I'm going to have to look through all these goddamn rooms. Door's locked. There must be a key around here somewhere. I don't know. Okay, is this... Oh. It was so dark I couldn't tell if it was a hall or not. It was nothing. It was a wall. I should explore this floor first before leaving. Well, that was kind of the plan. I wasn't sure if it was a level door or not. I couldn't tell. Get off my back. Alright. Storage room is locked. Will ne ah. You're just gonna lock all the doors, and then you're gonna have a monster come after me. Is that it? A little hammer right there. I wonder if that's gonna do me any good. Probably not. Hey, one that opens. What do you know? Let's shut that. Do we have a closet in here? Ooh, we do. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, look, it's beautiful outside. Kind of a lot of fog down there, though. Alright. Okay, that could be a place to hide. Now, just, just... Give me the lantern, and we'll be, we'll be just fine. Give it, oh, shit. I just noticed that there's two closets. Oh. Lantern? What? Give me my damn lantern. I don't want notes. I don't even want a key right now. I want my fucking lantern. 
Give me the lantern. Fine. I'll take your stupid note and your stupid key. Emergency, emergency, emergency supplies. 20th April, 1822. I have stashed an extra supply of tinderboxes and a lantern in the storage closet and changed it to this room in case of emergencies. If it's locked, but it should be, use this key to gain entry. Uh-oh. According to the note, there is a lantern and some extra tinderboxes in our storage room next to this one. Fuck. It's, uh... I left that one open. Okay, we gonna run over there. Right? Right? I saw some stagger. I mean, something loaded. It's gonna be a monster who's come out any moment now. Right? Uh, okay. Okay, key. What am I doing? Key? Oh, shit. It's dark in here. Oh, shit. It's dark in here. That is not cool. There is that. Uh oh. Okay. You out. You. You, you too. Uh, no. Come here. I said, come here. Why can't I? Ooh, you jammed it in there. Okay. Everything's all lit up. Tinder boxes. Not that many. Three. Three extra tinder boxes. I'm so excited. That's kind of glowing over there. Can I? Uh, yeah. Nothing. Because right, we need keys. We need more keys. Right? Because I think we do. What's going on in here? Not a whole hell of a lot, that's for sure. But we may have a key. Aha! Uh -huh. More lantern oil. We like more lantern oil. More, more, more. I'm greedy. Oh! The disappearing shirt. And turn that back on. It's kind of dark. Oh, you know what? I forgot. Those cases out there had stuff in them. Notice of key creation. 10th of December, 1825. To Dr. Coleman. Hello, Robert. I had that key to that metal door on the second floor created today. It should arrive within the week. Probably longer knowing our... Probably longer knowing our parcel service. Do be careful in that room now. We don't want any more incidents like what happened to that butler last month, do we? I can still hear that awful scream sometimes in my nightmares. Anyway, I hope all is well with you. Your friend, Braxton Archer. Alright, Braxton. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What's gonna happen? What caused that scream? Ah! That's what caused it. I'm gonna hide in this corner. It was just footsteps. Ha! I was fine the whole time. Everything was A-OK. -okay. Alright. This looks like a key for a room on this floor. Well, let's hope so. But what room? Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Come here, you. Eh, eh, eh. Okay, eh. Certificate of Award, 15th of May, 1823. This letter is to congratulate Dr. Robert Coleman on his invention of laudanum. Your invention heals all ailments and feels so good when used. For this, we award you with this certificate. Congratulations. Keep up the good work. Signed, Neville Worthington. So, key, huh? Lock is broken. I don't care. <clears throat> so it's been long. Oh, I forgot how long this hallway is. Is this this? Oh, that's locked. So let's try it on here. Aha! Oh ho! 
bad news abound. Uh oh. Hi! The fuck's wrong with you guys? That was fun. Get away from me! You guys are assholes. Fuck you! Is there something coming after me? It's like Karenic music. What the hell? Fuck off. Okay, get away. No, 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 no. Get away. I, I can leave now. Leave! Open the fucking door. Stone hammer. But for what? Why would I need a... S huh? <clears throat> okay, well. Do I leave? Um. Wait a minute, what? Did it... Oh my, it's dark. <laughs> oh shit. That, that's going... We're going down on a lantern oil kind of quick, don't you think? I mean, I get it, you know, you gotta use a mixture of items, you wanna... Oh, it's stuck shut. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Stuck. So I can bash that bitch in? I guess not. More notes. Note fragment. Date missing. Can't believe he's dead. I'm going to miss him playing on that piano at dinner time. It just won't be the same. However, I must admit, as nice of a fellow as he seemed... I could not help but sense some da deep danger or hatred within him against this house. Although I pray he finds his peace in the afterlife, I get to feel it. The rest is illegible. Aha! Whoa. He's playing the piano again. But there's no one there. So when the clock strikes a certain time, he begins to play. Alright, so what am I supposed to do with this hammer? Anyone want to tell me? Why does this... Did I... I went from the other side? I don't know. I, I'm totally confused because... Aha! This is where the hammer goes. Really? I'm, I've got board blocks of wine cellar door. i got to find some kind of breaking tool. Maybe... What? No, not a crowbar. No. Don't give me that shit. Are you serious? I'm... I was going to say I'm thrilled to be in here, but not really. Block from the other side. Dark and creepy. Locked, but I can faintly hear breathing sounds on the other side. Oh no, that's not good. My father's study is locked. I need to find another way in. Uh. Breathing? I don't like it. I don't like it. No, no, no. No, no, no. It's gonna be behind here. Yep. So we have a lever to pull. Okay, so that was easy. <laughs> Fuck. I'm gonna have to search around for it. But that wasn't the case. Don't snow, God! It shut on me. Can I open it back up? Uh, no. So I'm in this weird, ominous room. Okay, okay, I think there's no... <gasps> Ah! 
So that's what we're in for, huh? That's great. Looking forward to this bitch. Christ almighty, that scared me. Let's not have that happen again for at least another 20 minutes, okay? Letter to Emma. 20th December 1843, Emma, my daughter. I'm so sorry things turned out the way they did. And even more than that, I am forever sorry I never had a chance to explain everything to you. Explain why I disappeared. There was just never enough time. Not enough time for my work, my friends, but mostly importantly, my family. And now, look where my work has gotten me. If you are reading this, then I am already gone. I had hoped you would be, would get up the courage to enter this room, my private study, and eventually come across this note. If that is the case, then perhaps the day I have feared to come has already happened. If that object I found ever gets into the wrong hands, the whole world as we know it could change forever. There's so much more I need to tell you, but of course, not enough time. My lab, Jesus Christ. Secret room, <clears throat> you know the one, or downstairs through the wine cellar. I meant there may be things you will regret seeing down there, but it must be done. And I'm not sure what the best course of action is. I've heard many great perils in destroying such an orb, yet I can already feel the changes taking place. Soon I will no longer exist, so I write this with haste while I still can. In any event, you must retrieve that orb and keep it somewhere safe, where it poss cannot possibly get into the wrong hands. There's an item in the dining room that you'll need in order to enter the wine cellar. Please be careful in there. Only God knows what I awoken in into this estate when I found that object. Do take care of Neil. He's a good man for you, and be careful. Love you, Father. Robert. Fuck. Dining room, huh? Okay. What are you going to do now? Huh? This looks like the dining room key. Oh, God. That's the room that had the breathing! Turn it off! Oh god. Oh god. I, I'm up here. I shouldn't be up here. I'm stuck up here! I can't move! Don't look at him. I'm stuck. I can't move! I'm stuck on this thing. I guess you weren't supposed to jump up on here. I think we're kind of fucked. Although, I can get to the top of it, and I may be a little bit higher than he can hit me. What am I going to do? I can't get off of this thing. Oh, shit. He sounds really close. I can't get off of this thing, so what am I supposed to do? I'm stuck. He's way over there. Okay, okay, okay. What do I do? What do I do? What? What? Can I? Ugh. Get up! It won't let me go over it. That's the problem. Open. Open. Fuck you! What am I supposed to do? Oh, shitty Shinoa. I'm, I'm, I'm trapped. You don't see me. You really just don't see me. Just go away, man. You know, you don't want to do it. It's not worth it, man. It's not worth it. Think about your life. Uh, God, what am I going to do? fucking clue. Do I just run for it? I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. Well. Nice knowing you. Whoa, shit! Ah! Ah! Oh, fucking no, no! Ah! Shut! Shut! Oh, fucking hell. Is he gonna come in here? 
Is he gonna come in here? Can he open it? He just... Oh, shit. What have I done? I don't think he can break it down. Was I supposed to come in here? He's stuck. At least I stopped him from doing that. But I think he's pressed up against the door of this closet. This is very unpleasant. I, uh... I think he, I think I may have broke the game, to be honest, because that door I ran up to you had a hole in it, and I couldn't get through it, and I think he's supposed to break it open. <sighs> well, fucking shit. Shots down.